Hi. In this video, I will show a programming example of timer zero interrupt of the AT Mega 32 microcontroller. So now let get started. At the beginning, I import its IO header file, the IO.h file. And its AVR interrupt header file, the interrupt.h file. Now I declare a global variable to hold timer interrupt counting values. It's important to creating precise timing delay. Here, it's the C main function program for the AVR. I assign PC0 pin to digital input, reading logic state from a push button. PC6 and PC7 pins are digital outputs, connecting to output LEDs. Here, I will not clear all data of port C. I keep PC0 high, enabling an internal weak pull-up resistor. So it remains high whenever the push button is not pressed. I assign timer 0 prescaling to 1 256, creating more timing delay for timer 0 increment rate. So the TCCR0 must assign to 0x04 in hexadecimal. For timer 0 overflow interrupt, it's important to clear timer 0 overflow interrupt flag. The timer overflow flag 0 of the TIFR must be set to clear the flag. So we will need to set bit 0 of TIFR. Now we turn on the timer 0 overflow interrupt enable bit or TOIE 0 of the timer slash counter interrupt mask register, TIMSK. It's bit 0. So TIMSK equal to 0x01 in hexadecimal. Finally, I turn on all interrupt sources using this instruction. Now let move to main program loop. Main task just keep track of input button and output LED. Whenever the button is pressed, and released an output LED connects to PC6 will toggle. I use if condition to check PC0S input logic state. Whenever the button is pressed, its logic state becomes zero. If the push button is pressed, the program stays here until the button is released. I use while loop to keep track of this.
after the button is released, PC6 of port C will toggle. Here's the interrupt service routine, ISR for timer or counter zero overflow interrupt. Whenever timer zero overflow occurs, the TCNT zero must preload with minus 16 to make a one millisecond duration. Then the variable CNT must increase one time. Whenever the CNT count reaches 500, it's 500 milliseconds then pin PC7 of port C will toggle. The CNT register will need to clear. Finally, in the ISR we will need to clear the timer zero overflow flag to make this interrupt happen again. So TIFR must assign to 0x01 in hexadecimal. We assume that the program written has no bugs. So I build this solution to generate hex file. Now it succeed. We will move to simulation. Here's the schematic for this programming example. The Atmga 32 MCU is supplied with plus 5 volts DC source. Its clock frequency is 4 MHz. As we can see, pin PC7 toggle every 500 milliseconds. Its toggle frequency is 1 Hz. This 1 Hz signal created by timer 0 overflow interrupt. By pressing the push button at PC0, it will change logic state at PC6. And it will not affect the timing of PC7 output frequency. For more information, please visit my blog. Thanks for watching this video.